Should federal officials have to place their stock portfolios in blind trusts? This is emerging as a campaign issue in the U.S. Senate race in Georgia after Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler traded stocks just days after getting confidential information on the coronavirus pandemic. 11 Live's Doug Richards has more. It's perfectly legal for federal office holders, from members of Congress to the president, to manage their own stock portfolios while at the same time making decisions that affect the economy. And when they do so, it always raises eyebrows, especially in election years. A few days before she showed up at the state capitol March 2nd to qualify to run in a special election this year, Senator Kelly Loeffler's stock portfolio was very active. Records show she and her husband, Jeff Sprecher, whose company owns the New York Stock Exchange, sold stock valued between $1.3 and $3.1 million before the coronavirus pandemic tanked the market. In the same period, it showed Senator David Perdue purchased stock valued between $63,000 and $245,000 in Pfizer, a pharmaceutical company developing a coronavirus vaccine. At the time, Purdue and Leffler said they'd hired managers to run their stock portfolios and keep them in the dark about it. This was Leffler on March 23rd. I'm only informed of my transactions after they occur several weeks. So certainly those transactions, okay. at least on my behalf, were a mix of buys and sells, very routine for my portfolio. Democrat John Ossoff says even that much knowledge is too much for members of Congress. He's running against Purdue. Now he has promised to stop trading individual stocks, but that's not good enough. He refuses to give up control of his portfolio. He should meet the Isaacson standard. Johnny Isaacson was the U.S. Senator Leffler replaced in January. As chairman of the Senate Ethics Committee, Isaacson reportedly put almost all of his stock in a blind trust even though no law required it. If he wins, Ossoff would become another millionaire in the U.S. Senate. In a disclosure two months ago, Ossoff said his net worth is between $2.2 and $7.4 million, with stocks and mutual funds valued between a million and $2.4 million. And on day one, I'll place my stock portfolio in blind trust. Senators Perdue and Leffler announced a few weeks ago that they would instruct their stock handlers to stop trading stocks, essentially freezing their portfolios, but coming up short of a blind trust.